Today is the day we have been working towards for the last 13 years. This day is unlike any that anyone has had before. Today, we forgo a traditional ceremony standing next to our classmates, but instead, we are now in a parking lot, socially distanced, wearing masks. I hope when we think of high school, years from now, we do not remember how bad the last nine weeks were. I hope we remember the fun times we had sitting with our friends in the end zone at football games, or trips to Baker's after basketball games. I hope we remember Mr. Cochran dabbing during class or reminding us to stay out of jail before the long weekend. I hope we remember beating the seniors in tug of war our freshman year at Clash of the Classes. I hope we remember all of the good times and we don't let the bad cloud our memory. That being said, the last few months have been challenging, but here we are. Soon we will start our careers. Some will start college. I hope that each and every one of you succeed wherever life takes you. Thank you for making unforgettable memories with me. To our teachers, thank you for helping us get here. Thank you for putting in the extra hours to make sure that we were able to graduate together as a class. To the administration, thank you for working tirelessly the last few months to make sure that we were able to have some sort of ceremony. To our families and loved ones, especially mine, Thank you for continually supporting us. Thank you for being with us through the happy times and the sad times and all of the times in between. We couldn't have done it without you. To the class of 2020, we have made a long lasting impression on our school and our community. We should be proud of ourselves. This chapter of our story is done, but our book is far from over. I leave you with this final statement. In life, what appears to be the end is really a new beginning. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce to you our valedictorian of the Colonel Crawford class of 2020. Mr. Alex Lawson has earned a 4.0 GPA and a 30 on the ACT while being involved in cross country, FFA, Clay Target League, 4-H, indoor track, academic challenge, student council, track, National Honor Society, and taking college credit classes. It is my honor to introduce to you, Mr. Alex Lawson. A couple of weeks ago, I found out that I had to write a speech for our graduation ceremony. I spent the first week thinking about what to say. 
By the end of that week, the best line that I had come up with to start the speech was something like this. I believe in the future of agriculture. But then I thought, wait a minute, I think I've used that before. Anyway, after 13 years of school, some of, some of us will jump back on the boat for another round of school, and others will head off into the workforce or even the military. No matter what you choose, work hard, stay positive, and good luck. We have all successfully completed 13 years of school to prepare ourselves for this moment and all of the moments that follow. And we have had a lot of help. All of us have had help throughout our school careers from many different people. In addition to our great teachers here at Colonel Crawford, first of all, I would like to thank my parents. My parents have kept me pointed in the right direction for the past 18 years. Without their support, I would not be where I am today. I encourage the rest of you to thank your parents and whoever supports you at home. No matter how difficult we are, they always support us. Second, I would like to thank Mr. Bruner, Mr. Martin, Mr. Teglovic, and the rest of our leaders here at Colonel Crawford. They have supported us throughout the years, no matter how many times we messed up. Mrs. Stuckman, Mrs. Wyrick, and the rest of the office staff have always made sure that we got where we needed to go. They kept the school running and were here to support us every day. I would also like to thank all of the teachers here at Colonel Crawford. They taught us about much more than the subjects that they were responsible for teaching. Occasionally, we might have even taught them something, like about vernal pools or diffusing desks. Their smiles were always nice to see, and their words of encouragement were always nice to hear. I will never forget the rest of the people at, Colonel, at the school that have played a big role in our school experiences. All of the lunch staff making our tater tots, the custodians cleaning up our accidental messes, and the bus drivers who not only had to put up with us, but drive at the same time all helped us out tremendously. Finally, I would like to thank all of my classmates. I can't imagine how boring school would have been without all of you. Good friends make everything better. I encourage all of you to thank your families, friends, and the school staff for helping you throughout school and throughout life. In writing this speech, I realized that I have never listened to a graduation speech. I have never even been to a graduation ceremony. I had no clue what I would say, nor what I was supposed to say. So I did what anyone else would do. I googled what are graduation speeches about. I found out several basic points. Thank people, say what you have learned, keep it short, and keep it interesting. Since I have already thanked a bunch of people, I will go right into the what I have learned section. I have learned three important lessons, and I am sure that these three lessons also apply to you. The first lesson is not a great lesson to learn, and we would probably be better without it, but it does have some positives. The lesson is about procrastination. How many times have you known about a project for weeks, and then you waited until the last few days or even the last day to complete it. I know I have. But procrastination does have a positive side. It helps you to practice working under pressure and within a short amount of time. That being said, procrastination is probably best avoided. The second lesson that I learned was to try new things. When I was younger, I never really wanted to be on a sports team and I didn't think I would enjoy any organized sports. It wasn't until middle school that I tried to participate in one. I ended up having fun running track, but was hesitant to try another sport. Finally, two years after starting track, I reluctantly showed up to summer conditioning for cross country. I ended up enjoying cross country just as much as track. Looking back, if there was one thing I could have changed about my school experience, 
It would have been starting cross country sooner and participating in more things. You never know if you will like something until you try it, and you might surprise yourself with something that you really enjoy. Finally, lesson number three. This might be one of the most important lessons that I learned in school. Have some fun. After all, why work so hard if there is nothing fun to look forward to after the work is done? When you're older, are you going to look back and wish that you had spent more time working in the office? Or are you going to wish that you had spent more time laughing and smiling and having fun with your friends and family? So that's what I've learned. As to points three and four of what graduation speeches are about and should be, I hope that I have kept this speech short enough and interesting enough for you. I would just like to remind you of one more thing. One of our teachers here at Colonel Crawford, Mr. Cochran, has been summing it up perfectly for many years. He would always tell us on every Friday after class to have a good weekend and stay out of jail. So as we move on to our next adventure in our journey, I will leave you with a slightly modified version of his famous quote. Have a great life and stay out of jail. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce our salutatorian of Colonel Crawford High School class of 2020. Mariah Kotzmeyer has earned a 3.95 GPA and a 28 on the ACT while being involved in golf, basketball, softball, National Honor Society, Leo Club, FFA, 4-H. She was a Crawford County Queen attendant, all while taking college credit plus classes. Miss Mariah Kotzmeyer. Hello, everyone. How lucky I am to have known something that is so hard to say goodbye to. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Sitting down to write this was a challenge. It always seems to be a struggle to come up with the beginning of a story or the introduction to a paper. Sometimes it's easier to just dive right in or work your way backwards. A man who I'm sure you've all heard of before goes by the name of Steve Jobs once said, you cannot connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. As I sat down to reflect on my years spent here at Colonel Crawford, I realized how true that statement was, how everything truly does happen for a reason. As we gather here together today to celebrate this amazing accomplishment, we are surrounded by family and friends who have supported us along the way. Maybe a few less than anticipated due to the circumstance, but it doesn't make this occasion any less special or the people any less proud. Just over two months ago, we sat through our last classes together and didn't even know it. And not much later, us senior sport athletes or spring sport athletes were told that we would not get to play our senior seasons. Heartbroken was an understatement. During this time though, I think we all had a lot of time to think. And these are some of the conclusions I came to myself. For starters, we are the only ones who can choose how we react to a situation or event in our life. We can either let the negativity have power over us or choose to be positive instead. As easy as it is to get caught up in the negativity of a situation, we should shift our focus to God and show gratitude for all the blessings we do have in our life. As the class of 2020, I think we learned that lesson pretty quickly. Never again will we take for granted the little things in life, like walking those halls, saying hi to your favorite teachers, sitting in class with some of your best friends, and powering through those hard practices with your teammates by your side. We have made so many memories here and have so much to be thankful for, and I refuse to let this one last semester define the rest of my time spent here. Unlike the majority of my classmates who have grown up going to school together, I came to Crawford my freshman year. The first place I began to call home was the egg shop. All of you who were in FFA or even sat down there for one study hall know what I mean when I say memories were made every day. I also made so many great memories with my teammates on the basketball court of Mac Morrison Gymnasium, down on Chuck Huggins softball field, and at Valley View Golf Course. 
three more places I soon would call home. For others, home could have been the music department, the art room, the track, football field. Wherever it was, it was home because it was special to us. And the reason it was so special to us was because of the people who made it worthwhile. There, countless memorable moments were made that we will cherish for a lifetime. That feeling, running onto the field under Friday night lights and the roaring crowd cheering for you. Stepping on the court, and no matter what gym you were in, the front row crew was sitting right there, right on cue, every game. The pride of standing front row in a student section, cheering on a regional bound boys basketball team with an amazing fan base that travels. It didn't take me long to realize that this community is home. They've had our backs in all that we've done and will continue to do so with all of our future endeavors. Even during the tough times at the end of this year, they went the extra mile to make it special for us. With the Adopt a Senior Facebook page and the best Turn the Lights On for Seniors parade I've ever seen. I could never be more thankful for a community who welcomed me and all of us with open arms and made us one of their own so quickly. Once an eagle, always an eagle, and eagles always manage to soar. Above the storm, above all the tragedy or any obstacles that we may face in our lives, we will always rise above. This journey called life is not meant to be traveled alone, but meant to be conquered together. And as the cast of High School Musical once said, we're all in this together. Thank you to all my family and friends, all my classmates, teachers, coaches, and staff that made my high school experience so memorable. This will always be home. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brad McKibben. I'm president of the Colonel Crawford uh, School Board here at Colonel Crawford. Uh, just wanted to say on behalf of the school board, we are so very, very, very proud of our seniors this year. Congratulations to all of you. We're also very thankful and proud of our administration and staff here at Colonel Crawford for all that they've been able to do during these trying times. Let's give them all a honk. What do you say? Thank you very much for that, uh, folks. Thank you very much for that. Today, I have the uh, distinct privilege of announcing the uh, Citizen of the Year Award here to Colonel Crawford Community. And today I'm going to be reading this award nomination as it was written by the individual who nominated the recipient. While my wife and I were in Children's Hospital with our son Jacob for 10 weeks, this couple took charge of the band and FFA to make sure the stadium was cleaned up after home varsity football games. They have participated in this process for the past two years. They have also spent countless hours organizing and participating in fundraising events for the Music Boosters. This couple also volunteers their time for the American Red Cross. This year's recipients of the Citizen of the Year Award are David and Ann Shambaugh. Congratulations to the Shambaugh's. part of this community, um, have our son here. You've accepted him with open arms. Um, I can't say enough for the administration and the students here of um, how we've been received in this community, um, especially since we're a little bit of an outsider, but we've never felt that way. And thank you very much for honoring my husband and I with this award. It means a lot to us and we hope to continue to support um, Colonel Crawford in the future. Thank you so much. The Employee of the Year. This past spring, our quarantine, one of the people I have witnessed seeing the most every day is the recipient. She would always greet us every morning as we walked in, into the cafetorium with a smile every day. One of the things I have always liked about her is how she can be firm, loving, and witty all in one setting. She always had, always had a way to put a smile on someone's face. She always believed that every single student could be successful. She always went out of her way to help challenge other people. She is a problem solver, which in turn taught her students the importance of perspective and determination. During our award assemblies every quarter, she would always tell us her life stories. She wanted to not only make us great students, but also great people outside the classroom. 
During the assemblies, when someone got an award, she would be able to tell different stories about him or her. She always went out of her way to get to know everyone. She always supported us in our sports, music, and even academic challenge. As a class officer, she helped teach me the importance of helping our community members through multiple small projects. She always gave us a chance to grow as leaders and to help other people. I will always remember my years in Mrs. Bond's building. This year's recipient is Mrs. April Bond. At one time, she was a lot faster than that. Um, I just want to say thank you for allowing me to do what I do each day here. This is the best place to be from top to bottom, and it starts with the parents and the community and the fantastic students we have. So thank you all. Um, class of 2020, congratulations. You guys are fierce. You're strong. I have the gray hairs from junior high to prove it. Um, you guys did it, and I enjoyed every second of watching you grow into the beautiful young men and women you are now. So best wishes, and thank you. This is probably my greatest honor of anything I do. The class of 2020 has fulfilled the requirements set forth by the State Board of Education, the North Central Ohio Education Service Center, the Pioneer Career and Technology Center Board, and the Colonel Crawford Local Schools Board of Education. As diplomas are awarded, Senior students who are graduating with honors will receive a honors diploma from the state of Ohio along with either a certificate of distinction or a certificate of merit. The certificate of distinction signifies a student has successfully maintained an academic achievement level of 3.5 to 4.0 GPA for their four years of high school courses. The certificate of merit signifies academic achievement of a 3.0 to 3.49 for their four years of academic coursework. Students, you have been parked in order by secretary, president, valedictorian, salutatorian, and then alphabetically. We will start our presentation of diplomas starting with Miss Cecilia Grace Worm, fourth year academic letter, NHS member, Colonel Crawford Academic Booster Scholarship winner, Project Black Integrity Award, Mac Morrison Scholarship, Lions Club Student of the Month, and the President's Award for Educational Excellence. Alexis K. Hillman, N10 Scholar Athlete, William Farrell Scholarship winner, Lions Club Student of the Month. I want to shout out all my um, friends. Thanks for the memories, guys. Alexander Mitchell Lawson, Valedictorian, OHSAA Scholar Athlete, N10 Scholar Athlete, Marion E. Althouse Scholarship, Lifetime Pass, All A's, United Bank's Academic Excellence Award, Fourth Year Academic Letter, NHS Member, Wildlife Management Scholarship, Franklin B. Walt Walter nominee, Crawford College Connection Grant John and Janet Spring Scholarship, Byron Smith Memorial Scholarship, Dr. Lori Ann Rodebeck Memorial Scholarship, Lions Club Student of the Month, Crawford County Lions Club Scholarship, President's Award for Educational Excellence. Mariah Jill Katzemeyer, Salutatorian, OHSAA Scholar Athlete, N10 Scholar Athlete, United Bank Academic Excellence Award, Fourth Year Academic Letter, NHS Member, American Red Cross Scholarship, Kale Dash Buener Scholarship, Rowley and Esther Wilson Scholarship, Lions Club Student of the Month, Susan Campbell Memorial Scholarship. Dalen C. Balliot, N10 Scholar Athlete, Fourth Year Academic Letter, A Game Award, President's Award for Educational Excellence. Um, I just want to thank the class of 2020 and my friends and family. Latasha R. Bays, A Game Award. I just want to say thank you, Class of 2020. Sarah Rose Beck, N10 Scholar Athlete, 
John Philip Souza Award, second year academic letter, Colonel Crawford Academic Booster Scholarship, Susan Campbell Memorial Scholarship, Henry Huber Family Scholarship. I just want to say thank you to all my family and to the class of 2020. We made it. Logan R. Blankenship. Allison E. Browsey, State FFA degree recipient, third year academic letter, Lions Club Student of the Month. Woohoo, we did it! <laughs> Abigail C. Brockwell, A Game Award, HOSA President, Byron H. Cameron Award finalist, fourth year academic letter, NTHS member, NHS member, American Red Cross Scholarship, Georgia Wilt Rhodes Memorial Scholarship. Congrats class of 2020 and everyone who made this possible. Thank you. Jonathan J. Bukovic. Alan M. Burkhart. I just want to give a good shout out to my teachers and everyone else. Thank you. Alana Grace Burkhart, State FFA degree recipient, second year academic letter. Martin Codwell. Trevor M. Chance, N10 Scholar Athlete, third year academic letter. I just want to thank all my friends and family in the class of 2020. Addison C. Conkle. Alec N. Deeb, A Game Award. Macy I. Dykus, N10 Scholar Athlete, Fourth Year Academic Letter, President's Award for Educational Excellence. Michael R. Dovenbarger. Trevin George Smith Fairchild. Gavin M. Fickner, Lifetime Pass. Shout out to my family for the support. You gotta love For 18 years we've 
watched you grow as proud as we can be and crawling walking one two three and all your abc's through the awkward years and intense debates to a young adult became now you're faced with a pandemic that none of us have faced To the class of 2020 Our hearts go out to you We can't begin to even know The heartache you've been through You've run the race, you finish strong Even though it may not seen so raise your heads and tip your caps and go and chase your dreams we're all in this together i've heard so many times i know it may not seem that way but it's more than just a line got your back we're on your side hang in there we'll get through and when this all is over you'll get your payment due and to the class of 2020 our hearts go out to you we can't begin to know the heartache you've been through you've run the race you finish strong even though it may not seem so raise your heads and tear your caps and go and chase your dreams one thing's sure and one thing's right not another class compares Oh, class of 2020 Oh, class of 2020 Oh, class of 2020 Go and chase your dreams Lydia Eve Fike, N10 Scholar Athlete, State FFA Decree Recipient, Third Year Academic Letter, Crawford Co County Connection Grant Shock Award Winner, Lions Club Student of the Month. I'd like to give a shout out to my family and friends for supporting me. Jordan J. Fenner, N10 Scholar Athlete, OHSAA Archie Griffin Sportsmanship Award, Lifetime Pass, Jeff Dyer Scholarship Award, Third Year Academic Letter, Ohio Mutual Insurance Group Award of Excellence, Lions Club Student of the Month. Garrett L. Fout. Rachel Ann Forsyth, N10 Scholar Athlete, Third Year Academic Letter. Madison Marie Fur, N10 Scholar Athlete, 
third year academic letter, NHS member, Crawford College Connection Grant Moose Award recipient, Lions Club Student of the Month. Trinity Lynn Gatton, A Game Award, Skills USA Reporter. Brendalyn Faye Shelby Goins, fourth year academic letter. Hey, I just want to give out a sh give a shout out to Mr. B for making school easy for me. Noah Michael Ray, senior Cassandra Marie Haycook, second year academic letter, A Game Award. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Katrina A. Haycook. Kane M. Hayes. Catherine Diane Hopkins. N10 Scholar Athlete, Lifetime Pass, Fourth Year Academic Letter, President's Award for Educational Excellence. Shelby Lynn Johnson, first year academic letter. Dylan M. Kaiser. Most of you peaked in high school. Daniel T. Coker. Shout out to everyone helping me to get through this. Drew Beth Crosso. Lifetime Pass, Perfect Attendance Award, Jeff Dyer Scholarship Award, first year academic letter. Annalisa Nicole Leone. Olivia C. Marks, third year academic letter, quality performance award, A Game Award, President's Award for Educational Excellence. Madeline Jeanette Massey, N10 Scholar Athlete, third year academic letter, Crawford College Connection Grant Moose Award recipient. 
Well, I was told to shout out my cat and my sister, so that's what I'm going to do. Mary E. McCoy. Fourth year academic letter, President's Award for Educational Excellence. Seth Andrew Miller, 2020 Best Award winner. <laughs> Brianna Eileen Morton, first year academic letter. No, we didn't see it coming. I mean, from last year to this year, just got to stay positive and work with it. I think I was more nervous in the seventh inning when we had three outs left than when I came into this game, man. It was, it's crazy. It's, we've been preaching all year, just we got to take one game at a time, but this is definitely our goal for sure.
do what you do for our team and why we've been successful. Don't do something out of the character. And let's go get a championship. Come let's on. get it, boys. Let's get all three. One, two, three. Get SAA Archie Griffin Sportsmanship Award, Lifetime Pass, Fourth Year Academic Letter, NHS Member, Gary Shuffler Academic Booster Scholarship, Project Black Integrity Award, Ohio Mutual Insurance Group Award of Excellence, Lions Club Student of the Month, President's Award for Educational Welcome to the Excellence. Class of 2020, thank you guys so much. Tristan Alexander Nelson. Kirsten Lee O'Rourke. Caden Lee Pfeiffer. First year academic letter.
Say good luck to everybody. Autumn Lynn Pilo. Olivia Riley. I'd like to take, thank my family who has helped me to make, make it here. Logan J. Reinhardt. Macy Lynn Reisner, N10 Scholar Athlete. I'd like to give a shout out to Noah Graham. Taste of it. Kaylee Ann Robinson, First Year Academic Letter. Blake Steven Scribner. Daniel Edward Shambaugh, N10 Scholar Athlete, fourth year academic letter. Madison Sharp. I just wanted to say that while high school didn't end the way we wanted it to, nothing could ever ever ruin the four years of memories I got there. And now it's on to Columbus, so OH! Keenan Foster Sherrick. Doug and Renee Loot Hold Scholarship. Megan Lechty Schull, Attendance Award, Fourth Year Academic Letter, NHS Member, North Central State College Technical Physical Therapy Scholarship, Crawford College Connections King's Daughters Award, Don and Bella Shoemaker Memorial Scholarship, Joshua S. Schultz. Nathaniel R. Schultz. Shout out to mom and dad. Evan S. Spangler. Shout out to all my friends and family, thank you. Ethan G. Suter. I'd like to give a shout out to my family and mom. McKenna Marie Trish. Kaya R. Uhl, second year academic letter. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Bruner. 
Reese Alt Walker, Senior Citizenship Award. Shout out to Mr. Bruner for every time we got in trouble. That's the guy we hooked up with. <laughs> Bailey A. Wallace. David A. Richardson Enduring Spirit Award. Elmer, El Elmore Field Leadership Award. Fourth Year Academic Letter, Artist of the Year. Morgan Elizabeth Walsh, N10 Scholar Athlete, fourth year academic letter. Shout out to Harry Styles. Hannah Renee Williker, N10 Scholar Athlete, Lifetime Pass, Attendance Award, fourth year academic letter, NHS member, Gary Shuffler Acad Athletic Boosters Scholarship, Susan Campbell Memorial Scholarship, President's Award of Educational Excellence. Micah Daniel Wireball, Dustin Stover Memorial Scholarship. Give a shout out to Mr. Bruner. Thanks for all the help. Uh, my parents and my girlfriend for everything they do for me. Isabella Christine Worm. First year academic letter, Senior Artist of the Year. These young men and women have put forth the great effort to get to this point in their lives. The class has certainly continued the fine tradition of excellence at Colonel Crawford High School. The Board of Education represented here today, along with the administration and staff of Colonel Crawford Local Schools, congratulate our parents and present to you the class of 2020. At this time, we will begin with a police escort and with the Jefferson Township Fire Department. Students will be led in order that they are in for our parade, which will start on Crestline Road and continue down Main Street of North Robinson. Oh, oh, oh. 